The Ben! Well, hello, Shining Knight. What can I get for you? I'd like a grand healing potion. Sure thing. That will be 3,000 gold. Uh... Welcome back. Today, we're going to be covering everything to do with gold. So the first thing is dropping gold. Dying is pretty common, especially on the higher difficulties, no, and the cost God, can be please, no, no, quite impactful. No. But if we simply drop the gold in Eventrine or just before a dungeon or boss fight, we won't be risking losing it if you die. Just make sure you don't drop it inside a boss room because the room resets if you die. If you struggle with your character instantly picking up the gold you just dropped, you can hold a movement direction before you close your menu. The second thing is selling crops and ingredients. Early in the game, borrowing crops is a decent way to earn some coin. You can sell to Rebecca in Northern Fallowfields for 75%. She doesn't have too much money on hand, so you can sell the rest to Sean Bean in Eventrine at 45%. Afterwards, you can sleep for 24 hours and the field should regrow. Throughout the game, you'll be picking up quite a few valuable items like pitchers, vases, chalices, the best place to sell them for the most value is in Ambrose Retreat. This merchant Terence buys almost everything for 75%. Plus, you can buy valuables in the Thieves Tower at 50%. And the last and best way to make money is with Miasma Shares. It's the classic buy low, sell high, except we can actually raise the price with a secret interaction. The value of the shares actually goes up when you mine Keltonite. So ideally, you want to buy at around 10 to 15 percent, then go to the troll caves and mine up a lot of Keltonite, come back to town to sell, sleep for five days, potentially buy some more shares at the lower rate, and do it all over again. Mining will drastically skyrocket the value of the shares, but each day you sleep, the price will drop. After mining just a few rooms, I've managed to increase the value up to over 200 percent, after selling my 100 shares, I've about 20x my money, making me a grand total of 1.2 million. So now that you have all this money, what can you exactly do with it? There's an item in the game called the Shirt of Coins that you may come across. So the Shirt of Coins takes 1% of your gold and adds it to your armor, fire, ice, and lightning resistances. But you do lose 500 coins every time you take damage. So if you have, let's say, 1 million gold, that would be 10,000 armor and resistances. The last thing you can do with your hordes of gold is reroll enchants until you get the perfect ones. Beyond that, there's not too much else you can do with the gold. I'm curious, what's the highest amount of gold you've gotten to? Tell me how much you have in the comments below. Here, hold still.